Nathan, uh, this is the life, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Ever, you know, since I arrived in, in LA, the sun's been out. Um, great reception from the people. Um, this is really enjoying it. Take us through the decision to come here. Why? Basically, I was I was meant to be fighting in the CIA uh, Motor Point Arena, uh, 27th of October. But we had an opportunity to, to fight in America, November the 10th, two weeks later. Um, and it was an opportunity I had, to, I had to take, you know, to fight on a Golden Boy promotion, get some US exposure, ready to set up the big fights in, in 2013. So this was a, a major step in my career and a chance to take it to that next level. Have things gone, I don't know, a little bit stale? Um, possibly. In the, in the last year, um, you know, this is only my second fight in, in nine months, which is it's quite inactive, um, so you could say it's gone a little bit stale. But I've had a good break. You know, I had a, a good break in the summer. Um, went on holidays, mentally freshened up, physically freshened up, and I feel I feel back to my best now. It's not been ideal, hasn't it, the preparation? Preparation hasn't been ideal. You know, I've, I was preparing for a South Pole fighter in, in Ryan Coyne um, from from the U.S. Unfortunately, political issues. Um, he was. He couldn't go ahead with the fight, so the search is on for another opponent. Fortunately, we've we've got someone this week. Um, it was an orthodox fighter, American. It's his golden uh, opportunity to come and rip the world title away. So I've got to be on my uh, got to be on my toes with it. Heading down to what's now the renowned Wildcard Gym in, in LA. Uh, where Manny Pacquiao trains, I'm just just heading down for a, a, a light it's session. A um, it's Tuesday now, so we've got four days until the fight. Oh, yeah, light session. Then Mickey Rock is meeting us here at the gym. Freddie, how did this come about, Nathan, doing some sparring here? Well, uh, my good friend Mickey Roy called me up and asked me if Nathan, we had room for Nathan and Jim, and I said we always have room for world champions. Where does Nathan cleverly stand from a, a global perspective of boxing? Yeah, in America right now, he's not too well known. I mean, he, we, have, we haven't seen him on the American TV too much and so forth. And the thing is, uh, um, this will be his first fight in America, and I, I think he'll start to get nervous because he's an excellent boxer. He's got great hand speed, good combinations. Once he learns to set down a little bit and start knocking, knocking guys out, then he'll become a star. Yeah. Yeah. Big Ben today has come in. He's getting there. Saturday night, he'll be on top form. How was Nathan Cleverley? Oh man, he's really good, man. He throws a lot of punches and he's really sharp. You know, uh, he's definitely throw a lot of punches. He has some decent power as well. How does he compare with who you who you train with, who you spar with here? Well, he definitely ranks up at the top, you know, uh, because he pushed me a lot. I like to usually most guys I back him down. I just I'm too strong for him. But you know, even when I came forward, he was still there to fight me. Behind you. Joe Calzaghe told me about Nate. You know, uh, I was go, I was over in, uh, I was in London, uh, and there was a fight going on. I think in the South End or something. And of all the fights that I saw, I was most impressed with uh, Nathan Cleverley. I, I, he was fight. I think he fought some a really strong Russian kid that night, and he just. He was out boxing him, you know, because he's a fantastic boxer. Bring back memories for you? Yeah, it's very hard for me to come in the gym. I get I get very sad and depressed when you, when you come in and you're around guys doing stuff that you used to be able to do and you can't do it anymore. You miss it? Yeah, terribly. Yeah, yeah. still? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We've been in Freddie Roach's gym with you. What was that like, the experience? That was a great experience. You know, it's a renowned gym. In, in the States, uh, and Freddie Roach, you know, a renowned top class trainer, and it was a great experience. You come to LA, uh, Joe Calzaghe came to America, others have come before you. Uh, we spend the day with you, it, you're pretty inconspicuous, nobody yet has noticed who you are. Do you like it that way, or is that some, another reason why you're here? In the US, I'm, you know, I've, no one knows me, so we need to come out here, get some US exposure, and by doing that, we'll, we'll set up the big fights then with the, the top American guys. 
Joe Calzaghe came at a totally different point in his career. Is this a conscious effort to do things a little bit different? Throw you, I mean, throw yourself into the lion's den early? Yeah, possibly so. I've, I've come a lot earlier. Um, but perhaps that's something I can learn from, from Joe. You know, he came late in his career. I've, I've pushed things forward, um, coming a lot earlier. And, and hopefully, by doing that, I can get the bigger fights earlier. Um, which is which is, is is what I'm after in this in this boxing game. So hopefully it'll work for me. Is this a long-term strategy? Could you see yourself relocating here or to train? Yeah, possibly. So it's a strong a strong possibility I could I could come here um, for a lot of my future fights. Um, I've I've enjoyed the training over here, experience in the in the gym earlier. Um, it was great. So it's, it's something I definitely want to experience again. And provided Saturday night goes well, I definitely want to come back here.